I'm Dave Cameron, uh, and this is my Black Falcons Crest Castle. I'll take you through a bit of a tour on the on the village part first. Uh, this is the the Wolfman's Fisherman's Village. Uh, sits alongside a river, a little bridge that takes you over to a larger part of a village. You can see the, the blacksmith shop. Right, open up some of these doors. Come to see inside. I've, I have fitted out most of the interiors where I can. Uh, and you'll see over here we have town hall section, a bit of small library upstairs. Fitted out with some of the tower and this is the main gate that gets you into the castle village area. Before you hit a main gate, it takes you into the castle. And the ramp there takes you into a side entrance to the castle there and you get a walk through village. Got a little uh, passageway that takes you to a, another dock, to another river, to another side. Um, and at the top here we have uh, more parts of the village. We've got a tavern on the left hand side. And on the right hand side we have a, uh, a bakery. <laughs> And then underneath is there's a, there's a pole turner in there as well. Underneath there's some mining going on. And here's the other front gate to the to the village. The bridge that takes you over to a gatehouse. And the gatehouse takes you down to a to a docking area for the back of the docks. And coming around to the side, it exposes the, the dock area. And then you can see the drawbridge that comes through the gatehouse. It's the entrance to the main castle. Got a dragon <laughs> trying to have his way with the soldiers in the main tower. And I have tried to capture as much of the internals as I can. So most of it goes through to different sections of the castle. There's a doorway. It was imperative that I designed it in a way where there are staircases that will take a minifigure to every part of this castle. And as you can see, there are, there are two main keeps to the castle. The one in the middle is the middle keep. It's mainly for armory and a little wizard tower. Uh, there's about three levels for the castle, so on the internals, uh, you come in on the village side or on the main side, it takes you to the very bottom level. Uh, there are staircases that take you up to the middle level and then ultimately to the main keep. Underneath the main keep, you've got a dungeons and a bunch of torture chambers for the unfortunate souls you might notice that a lot of the internals are all done I've tried to fit out as much of the interiors as possible
certain other sessions and as you come back around to this back to the keep, the main keep. I've done well. You can see one of the bedrooms in there. <laughs> and then from the main bedroom down the very bottom down here you have <laughs> you've got some of the warehousing and where all of the goods come in from the bottom floors uh, and then you've got the kitchens as you go further back under um, on top of the kitchen you have the main dining hall main dining hall where you've got all the factions that have come together the dining hall takes you into A library. And as you can see, the library comes back through to the entrance in there. As you can see in the background there, there's the staircases. The front of the white section of the tower is mainly designed to host all the staircases to get to the different floors. As you go up, you can see on this next level. That's the entrance room to the, the throne room. Why don't we go inside the weather? Yeah. Alright, I'll change. I didn't bring it. And there's the throne room. See the queen in the back, she's coming from her bed chambers. Top of the top of the throne room is a small ballroom. You've got some onlookers that are looking down into the throne room. Okay. Inside here, you've got another bedroom. you also into the back end, uh, into the front towers and staircases and stairwells. Is that all of them? Yeah. Most of the sections open up so you can kind of see in and out of different parts of the towers. Open them all up, let's see. See horse tables at the back there. There's another blacksmith for the castle further in somewhere. <laughs>
So I guess this was a, a project that was done over the past two years during COVID lockdown. I started in March 2020, I finished in February 2022. I really wanted to build a castle. I didn't have any real preconceived plan of where to start or what I wanted to achieve. I did have an idea, I just wanted to build a castle. Uh, brick one was pretty much at the back corner where the, uh, where the, where the dungeon is. We've even labelled it number one. Uh, the key was is to build the detail. I really wanted to capture the interiors. I really wanted to capture you know, life as a minifig in med medieval castle. Uh, I've got a, a lot of love and passion for your Tudor type buildings and medieval architecture. And I think I captured a little bit of both. I couldn't tell you how many bricks there are. Well, I couldn't tell you how many figures there are. But I can say that there are 21,000 of these light blue grey masonry bricks. So if that's any way to look toward. Sections which are, you can see the war room in here. Look at all the factions getting together. As we discussed, there's a small scale of the castle in there. Got the boss's office, call it that. Got a meeting room down here. The back of the horse stables. section where there's more goods that come into the, into the castle keep. into other sections of the castle. Uh, I apologise to all the Lego purists watching this video. I, uh, it is a non-Lego brand. I couldn't help myself. Uh, it is from Game of Thrones. I, I'm not sure what the brand is, but uh, it is a uh, fantastic build. It's a great set. Uh, it goes well. And um, it's just the right, the right size. As you can see, it's causing a bit of chaos for the soldiers. 